Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is uh, Evo once again, and I'm back for another video and for another movie review. And today I'm going to talk about is the third installment in John Wick films, and of course that's John Wick Chapter Three: Parabellum, which was released in May 17 in the US 2019. And I did saw this movie in movie theater. This is the only John Wick film I saw in movie theater with my friend. And I saw five days la later on May 22, 2019 at 8, I saw this movie in movie theater. It was five days later that it was released in the US. I saw this movie. I lucky had this movie. I have still the ticket and I saw this movie um, on May 22 at 8, 2019. Which I've really had, which I really enjoyed this film. I had pleasure to see this movie, movie theater. And Johnny Chapter 3 Parabellum is actually, in my opinion, one of the best action movies of the past nine, 20 years. In the past 20 years. And yes, with Blade 2, I'll say Blade 2, and this one is the only best movie uh, from 2000 that I really consider and enjoy. Um, in the action genre and um, yeah, John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum is the best one in the, in the film. I love this movie, Delay to Death, I love, love, love this movie to death and I'll consider this movie not the best movie of the year 2019 but a quintessential action movie of all time. Even better than the first two John Wick movies. I love all three but John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum I love to death. Um, for a while, John Wick Chapter 2 was my favorite, but now it's John Wick Chapter 3, and it was the first time I saw this movie uh, on Blu-ray. I saw it um, in this Friday, I saw uh, this movie, um, and it was really a pleasure to see it in, in uh, on Blu-ray. It was a beautiful picture, great picture quality, um, it was just perfect, you know, watching it. But John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, Prepare for War, is definitely Keanu Reeves' best film. Now, this is my favorite Keanu Reeves film, my favorite John Wick film, and my favorite action film for the, two, for the year 2000, from 21st uh, can, uh, century. This is actually the best one they did with Blade 2, I'll say it's the best one. Um, this is one of the greatest sequels ever, that's even better than the first, uh, the first two movies. Um, John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum is my favorite Keanu Reeves movie because he perfectly played and I saw John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum and The Matrix, I saw both the films in movie theater, they were the only two movies I saw from Keanu Reeves. Um, I saw The Matrix with my mom and John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum I saw with my co-worker who is also my friend, I saw, uh, I saw this film and we both enjoyed the time and it was it was such a great experience, the best experience of my life in movie theater I have ever had. And this movie is just pure badass. Empire, gave, Empire and the Sun gave 5 stars out of the 5 in this movie, which I agree. And Action Overload, the best John Wick so far, which I also uh, agree. Legendary Bread Stopping, Dazzling. Which I also agree with Eric that's right to this film. Excuse me. Eric that is right in this film. Um, but John Wick Chapter 3 stars once again Keanu Reeves. Um, Ian McShane also returns and we have new faces uh, like um, like Mark DeCascos. Um, Sally, he's not in this picture. Um, Amar de Cascos, a zero, he's a Japanese assassin, he's like Yakuza, he's like a badass, and yes, Mark de Cascos in this movie, we have like uh, an assassins in this movie, we have like an assassins with bikes who are chasing, uh, who are chasing John Wick through the town, which is awesome, the, the action sequence, everything is realistic in this movie, Keanu Reeves did 98% of himself, 2% was not allowed by insurance, um, when he was hit by the car, the, uh, that, that, uh, that wasn't allowed. I also think that, uh, that when he was thrown into the, uh, into, uh, in the glass mirror, 
when he broke that man when he broke six windows I don't think that was uh, Keanu Reeves I think he wasn't allowed but 98 percent Keanu Reeves did his own stunts um, and um, yeah Keanu Reeves is a badass um, I did kind of research on this movie um, but John Wick Chapter 3 starts no no actually um, John Wick is now a marksman by Hive by um, Hive Table um, his excommunicado He's now a marksman by the Hive Table because he killed, you know, because he broke the rules and he killed a member on the Holy Grounds, which he shouldn't do that. And now he's been hunted down since then. And his uh, reward on his uh, reward on his head is 14 million dollars. That's even seven million dollars more than it was in the previous installment. Now this movie, John Wick doesn't have a car. Or does it use a car? He doesn't use a car in this movie. Um, but that doesn't mean he isn't a badass. He's a badass in this movie. He uses uh, different vehicles. Now, it's one hour, and John Wick has been now um, excommunicado. And to Winston, the manager of the hotel, he gives him an hour start. And uh, John Wick has been now actually. Try to uh, try to to get his life back, so he runs to the library and um, <clears throat> while he's looking for a gun, you know, there's this guy that goes that, that attacks uh, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves fights him off, and he goes and kills him with a book. You know, when uh, when uh, <clears throat> was talk about the John Wick in the first movie, he killed three men with a pencil. In Chapter Two, he killed. Two men with, uh, he went and killed two men with a pencil. In this movie, he kills the guy with a book. You know, like a badass, he goes and hits him and kills him with a book. And he also gets stabbed in this movie. And he goes to the doctor. Um, the guy who was uh, who was in Matrix Reloaded, who played the keymaker, was the doctor in this movie. And he helps John Wick, you know, to patch himself. Then, then John Wick goes and patches himself, and he shoots the doctor with a, excuse me, with a small gun, you know, in order to uh, show that he's uh, um, that the doctor did not help him or patch him up the wounds. Um, now, since <clears throat> since uh, now since John Wick is a marksman and he's running through New York City. Which they actually refilmed in real New York City to the rain. Um, the 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 new forces arise, and that's of course the adjudicator. Um, that's uh, the adjudicator, which uh, which she <coughs> which was sent from Hive Table to uh, makes order, you know, in the room. And because the man was killed on the holy ground, which uh, which was. On Continental Hotel, which is uh, which is forbidden to do that, and because John Wick is a marksman, adjudicator, she she goes and she makes sure that Winston's gonna step down from the high table because uh, he allowed that John Wick killed, you know, uh, make a, a business on his grounds, which it shouldn't be. There are rules, you know, and. And she uh, g gives him seven days, you know, uh, se she gives him a seven days, you know, to step down. And of course, Winston's thinking about it. Um, <clears throat> while uh, she visits the Power King, Clarence Fishburne returns. And because, you know, he gives John Wick's uh, uh, seven rounds of a, of a pistol, um, she, you know, she decides that she's gonna go and throw the king out of his throne, and then he gets cut seven times, you know, when I love in Power King, and he says, well, sometimes you're gonna cut the motherfucker, <laughs> which, I, which I love that he got cut seven times um, by um, uh, by Zero, played by Mark de Cascos, and, um, and yeah, so John Wick, you know, he escapes to the opera, um, he met uh, this, this older lady, the director, um, because uh, she, um, <clears throat> the director, because he asked her for help, um, he gives her an, an amulet, uh, um, 
and uh, make sure that she uh, she uh, remembers her oaths. So she helps, you know, John Wick. So they go. So they're now even. John Wick escapes to Casablanca, and there he meets, you know, uh, the manager Sophia of the uh, of the um, Continental Hotel, and he uh, and uh, he gave her a marker. You know, he gave her a marker. He helped her, and now he needs the help. You know, uh, of his own, and Sophia, she doesn't want to know where her daughter is in order that she will be safe. So Sophia decides to help John Wick, um, because he gave her a marker. After this, you know, the, the there's gonna be over. You know, the <clears throat> there's gonna be no uh, no favors left. You know, for them. So. Um, John Wick needs, you know, to find the elder who's above high table in order to cancel the hit on him. And Sophia goes uh, and brings him to her ex-boss, um, um, Uh, Barada to her ex boss Barada to this facility. Uh, they, she brings him to this facility and he asks Barada to help him where the elder is. And he tells him he's uh, in the Sahara in the in the desert. You know, he has to walk and until he uh, lands on the floor, you know, dead, and then he's gonna be found by the elder. So John Wick, um, so John, John Wick accepts the offer, but Burada says, now since I help you, I want one of the dogs from Sophia. Sophia, she says no, but he shoots the dog, and on that time, Sophia gets pissed, and, uh, and she starts fighting everyone, you know, and John Wick, and, uh, and, and Sophia goes and kills probably over 30 to 40 mercenaries, they kill them like a pig. Well, they they kill them like a uh, like a target practice, you know. They shoots all of them, and on the end, you know, Sophia goes and she shoots right uh, rather than the boss in the leg, you know, for the dog. <clears throat> they go and kills all the motherfuckers, you know. Tries to kill them, which is awesome. He was a badass, you know. And John Wick uses Glock 45, kills the, the motherfuckers, shoots all of them dead. Sophia goes with guns, shoots the the bastard's death, which is awesome. She was so great. Halle Berry was the best in this movie, in my opinion. Um, and this is the best movie. Which is a quintessential badass movie. Um, I just love this movie to death. And um, and of course, she takes John Wick to the desert. Um, she goes and takes it to the desert. And this is the first time that Keanu Reeves saw Sahara. And John Wick was walking through the desert. Um... There's another scene in which Sophia gra grabs a bottle, drinks the bottle, and then she spits in it, the bottle, just awesome. I wish that Keanu Reeves could have kissed Halle Berry in this movie. So, uh, John Wick walks through the desert, you know, and then he lands on the, on the, on the sand, and he's found by this, uh, uh, by, by this guy, um, on, on camel, and brings him, you know, to the elder, and John Wick wakes up, and he asks the elder, you know, for his loyalty, who's the bow, the high table, um, in order for his loyalty that the that his hit is gonna be lift off, you know, he has to do something and that's killed his friend um Winston because he broke too many rules in the continental in the uh, continental hotel in New York and John Wick pledges his uh, allegiance to uh, the Elder, and uh, he promises that he is gonna do that. And he goes and cut his finger out in order to show that he that he means um, with blood, you know, that he actually means with a blood, and and that he's under oath. So John Wick returns in New York, you know, and he's been right, and he's been once again, you know, tried to be killed by assassins, but they, those assassins are actually stopped by Japanese assassins, you know, the game play, um, lead by the by Zero, 
um, lead by zero, played by Mar de Cascos. And, you know, and of course, um, <clears throat> now John Wick, he escapes zero, he goes to the hotel and and because John Wick breaks the rule, he instead that he's gonna kill Winston, he says no. Uh, and uh, Winston does not want to step down from the, his hotel. So educator ordered uh, high enforcer for high table men, you know, in the suits with helmets and armor Pearson. Yes, armor Pearson, bulletproof vest in it with Zero and his men to try to kill John Wick. John Wick and uh, Chevron uh, from the first two movies, who's actually um, who uh, who's uh, who works for the manager, you know, the black guy, Lance, played by Lance Reddick. Um, he helps John Wick with his ma with his men, but all of the men they are actually killed down, and John Wick and uh, John uh, John Wick and um, Chevron they go and kill all the men and. On the end, you know, the educator says, you know, per uh, in which uh, bargain, which they go in bargain, and you know, John Wick kills on the end zero, and then he goes in the hotel on the roof, you know, he say parlay, but uh, he gets uh, the backstab, the double cross by Winston, who shots him like six, seven times and left him for dead, but John Wick. Uh, is actually bound, uh, is actually uh, now been found, you know, alive by Bowery King, you know, and a lot of the end, you know, the John Wick <laughs> when they found him with his dog, you know, and John Wick, you know, is, is shows a finger just like in concert, he shows a finger, and Bowery King says, "Wow, they cut your finger," and he shows the finger, and he says, "I mean the finger," <laughs> which I love that, you know, and um, and then John Wick, you know. And I love when Bauer King says, you know, are you pissed, John? Are you pissed? Because I'm sure I am pissed. And John Wick, you know, turns around and says, yeah. He's like a badass, you know. <laughs> and the movie then, of course, ends. Um, John Wick is a badass. Um, he's a badass in this movie. I love the action sequences. I forgot to mention uh, the the soundtrack on the end of the credits. I did not uh, wrote down because I forgot to wrote down. But yes, the song on the end was a badass. It was awesome. I love the song on the end, then the credits. Um, the music score. I prefer this music score from the first two movies um, by um, by Tyler Bates and Joel J. Richard. They both did the the music score in the second movie, but um, <clears throat> but Tyler Bates did the music score on the first one. Um, but I can make sure if it really was um, on the first movie, the music score. Um, 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 I think it was. I, I don't have right it, but I think it was. Um, too bad I didn't remember the music uh, score on the end of the credits, but it was. Uh, but I enjoyed it. Um, time out to call it this movie dazzling. I agree. Um, legendary Brad stopping. Keanu Reeves did ninety eight percent of his own stunts, which is a badass. Um, Badass film, my favorite. Keanu Reeves film, yes, this is my favorite. The second one is The Matrix, because I saw both the movies in movie theaters. This is my favorite. Um, now, the action sequences, my favorite action sequence, you know, must have been uh, John Wick driving a motorcycle, you know, just like, uh, just like, uh, just like in Hard Target, you know, right there. In um, the Chance Boudreau drives a motorcycle. In this movie, John Wick, you know, he's, he's uh, on New York. He's driving with a motorcycle, um, uh, and there, there are a bunch of assassins, you know, behind him with blades. You know, they actually using blades. You know, they both using blades in in it, and they try to stab him. And Johnny grabs the guy, shoots him with the gun in the neck. The guy uh, uh, crashes with the motorcycle, um, and he goes and kills those motherfuckers on motorcycle while he's driving motorcycle. 
That's my favorite scene in the film. It's a badass scene. Um, the end, you know, when when a mob, you know, uh, in the end, uh, from the end forces of the high table, they actually have like, you know, just like in the Matrix, they are dressed with armor piercings, with helmets, you know, and masks on it. And John Wick uh, go, goes and shoots them, but it turns out they have armor piercings, so he goes and shoots them in the neck, which they don't have their armor piercings. He shoots them there, the guys in the neck. Sharon also helps him out, um, and that's Sophia with dogs. We shall go more in the fox, Sophia with dogs, which is awesome. I love Sophia. Halle Berry is better to me than Linda Hamilton. You know what? This movie is better than Terminator Dark Woke. Dark Fate is better. It destroys Dark Fate to pieces. It kicks the Dark Fate's ass to pieces. I thought that, in my opinion, that Hal Berry was much better actress than she was in, um, than she actually was in uh, um, Die Another Day with uh, with awful Bond flick. I reviewed that garbage movie. Hal Berry was better than Linda Hamilton. I would rather watch Hal Berry. She was awesome. I love her costume. I love her little boots. She's so sexy. Um, love Hal Berry. Love her dogs. Um, what I love when John Wick, you know, he uses, uh, he uses a shotgun, which I wrote down, which is a shotgun. That's the educator. Um, but yeah, my favorite scenes will still be, you know, when, when uh, John Wick is on a motorcycle. He's been chased by mo by assassins with blades. And he goes and kills them, you know, he shoots one of the guy in the neck. And the guy crashes with the motorcycle, the other crashes in the other motorcycle. And... Um, and of course, Zero is chasing him with the motorcycle. They both hit each other. They landed, you know, in front of the hotel. And at the time, he's safe. He's not allowed to be killed. Um, I also love when Mark, uh, Mark the Cascos, you know, who says, um, <clears throat> who's Zero, you know, in the hotel, he, he says, you know, that he's more a cat person lover, you know, than, than his dog. Because I love how uh, Pitbull, the dog, you know, listens to John Wick. And um, he uh, he obeys him, you know, which I love that. Um, <clears throat> there's another scene, you know, like I said, in the library when John Wick goes and kills that guy with a book. He kills him, he slaps it, the book kills him, which is awesome. Um, there's a scene when John Wick, you know, goes to this museum and he finds those guns. And he grabs that, that revolver, that gun um, was... Um, Um, was a 45 long Colt, was from 19th century uh, uh, revolver Remington from uh, 1850 59 um, actually thousand actually um, was actually an uh, was actually an 1859 20th century was a revolver Remington 45 long Colt and John Wick, you know, he change, he goes and remodels the Colt and that's a nod and that's a reference to the good, the bad and the ugly when Tuco does that in that film John Wick, you know, remodels the gun and puts the bullets, you know, the shells in the in the uh, <clears throat> he, put, he loads the gun, you know, puts the shells in, in it, you know, and he shoots the bad guys and he goes and fights the, the bad guys, you know, the, in that museum, which is awesome. Um, another favorite scene when John is running away, he goes to uh, uh, he, he goes to this barn, and he, there's those horses, and he uses the horse, you know, who kicks the guy in the face as a weapon, which is awesome. He hits the guy in the face, and I do have, you know, uh, John Wick, you know, um, when John Wick is actually on a horse, you know, I had this coat as a John Wick was on a horse. This is the first time we see Keanu Reeves riding a horse. I have never seen uh, Keanu Reeves riding a horse through his entire movie, and I did so most of the films. And he's on a horse, which is awesome, just badass. You know, it was awesome. was a badass. John Wick was on a horse. I love that he rides a horse, so that was awesome. It was a badass. Um... 
there's another scene when Sophia and John go as a team, you know, they, they hit and kill all the bad guys. And uh, Halle Berry trained for at least six months. She had to do the same as uh, John Wick. Um, she also, when she read that she's gonna be, that she got an offer for John Wick, she accepted the role without reading it. Martha Cascos did the same. Both of them, they were fans of the first two John Wick movies. So when they heard about the third movie, they both accepted the role without question they, or without reading the script. And I'm actually not a huge Mark the Cascos fan. I don't have any of his movies except John Wick 3. Um, but I do did like only the strong film and I did like uh, Fra Crying Freeman. Uh, I haven't seen those two movies for a while now. Um, excuse me, I apologize. Um, but I haven't seen um, <clears throat> only the strong and um, that movie. And that, that movie, um, Crying Freeman for a while, but I like them. I heard about the, uh, I heard about the Drive 1907, but I never saw the film. Um, so I heard about good, the th good things about it. But actually, most, most I remember Martha Cascos as a Kickboxer 5 Redemption, which I hated the movie. Um, I remember her more in the film, in those two movies that I mentioned it. Um, I do remember in that movie that I that, that I mentioned it. Um, but John Wick Chapter Three Parabellum, I have to say that. Excuse me, excuse me. I have to wash my face if I want to continue um, talking about John Wick Chapter Three. I'll be right back. Hold on. Water is great. It's really great. Um, if I if I drink the water, it's also great. Um, but yeah, now the action sequences uh, I read that everything was real, but I did not mention a few scenes that I actually forgot to mention them. Um, one of the scenes was in which John Wick is in this glass in this glass room. And uh, like those two uh, assassins, samurais, they try to kill him, you know, in the hotel. And John Wick goes and fights them off, kills both of them. You know, which is awesome. Um, there's another scene when John Wick, you know, like a pure badass he is, fights those two guys. Um, 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 Shinobis to to Shinobis, you know, to uh, to students of Zero, you know, Shinobis. Both of them they played, you know, um, <clears throat> both of them they actually played uh, those two guys in the Raid in the Raid Redemption. Um, Shinobi too, yeah, 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 Ruhian, he he played, you know, Mad Dog in the first uh, the Redemption, and then he returned with a different character, the se se second movie. Um, and of course, the first uh, Shinobi was uh, C. Pari Rahman. He was uh, he was in Berandhal. He fought with Rama in the second movie, which I thought the second movie was better. It was actually my favorite of the film of the two that they did. Um, and yeah, I love you know. I forgot to mention. There's a scene uh, before those uh, before. Uh, Shinobi still uh, uh, Japanese assassins with blades. 
uh, they actually go and kick John Wick, you know, a few times. John Wick lands in, in the in the mirror and breaks the mirror six times, you know. They go and kicks him. And uh, that was for real, but I think it was a statement that fly through the, the window. But so many windows and glasses were, bro were broken the film. And they actually, Chad Sahelski returned, did a perfect job, you know, directing the action sequence and did this movie, which was awesome. Um, and yeah, and, and uh, John Wick goes and finds those two guys, you know, who they say is an honor and Keanu Reeves asks them how to say, you know, how to talk in Denise and they give him a few advice and John Wick goes and finds those two guys, but doesn't kill him on the end, which is awesome. The fights were longer, they were better than the first movie in my opinion um the fights are better than in john wick chapter 2 or even better than the first movie um they're better fights and i also love the villain you know uh the other educator and as your as your kate dillon but now i heard now i just read it that she's not gonna be in the fourth movie then what the fuck uh why the fuck was she then this movie she's not gonna be in the fourth movie that's fucking sucks you know I have a feeling that I don't think that John Wick Chapter 4 is going to be that good as this movie. I don't think so. Because I think John Wick, John Wick is supposed to be the trilogy. I will read it on John Wick Chapter 2. It's supposed to be trilogy. I think this movie should, should have just ended the franchise. I heard that Chad Sahelski says that John Wick doesn't have a happy ending. I mean, what the fuck? That's bullshit. That's BS. And I think they should just... You know... I think they should just leave, you know, um, I think they should just leave John Wick movies alone. I think they should just leave, um, I think they, I think they should leave, leave the franchise alone. And I also think that, um, don't kill John Wick, you know, because this movies will be then pointless. Don't kill John Wick, you know, and that's the, that's my word, you know, these assassins, those killers, the code of the killers. And um, don't kill John Wick, because now we're going to get for, uh, two more installments, you know, the fourth and the fifth movie. But uh, to me, it will be just fine if, uh, if John Wick will be just a trilogy. But my favorite uh, franchise that Keanu Reeves did was uh, John Wick films. And Keanu Reeves said that he enjoyed working on John Wick films, that he loved working on John Wick films. Um, it was an honor playing the character. And Carol's best performance as John Wick. Um, the actress events are great, are fantastic, tremendous. Um, the actions are awesome, are fantastic. Um, the blades, you know. I forgot to mention on the end, um, Zero and um, John Wick fight each other in a, in a battle swords. Or there's a scene I forgot to mention when John Wick goes and fights this guy in underwater. He has this guy, uh, John Wick, and uh, this guy in armor piercing with helmet and uh, <clears throat> in the helmet, you know, and uh, with the gun, they both landed in the pool. Uh, under the water, John Wick goes and kills the guy, you know, uh, kills him uh, six times, shoots him, kills him, the guy, you know, and he goes out of the pool, this guy almost hits him. But I love the scene that when Martha Castle goes and slides the guy to pieces and says, no one kills me. No one kills you but me. You know, this is actually the the reference to Die Hard. When Carl says, no one kills him but me. In this movie, you know, um, uh, Zero says, no one kills you but me. And then they go, they fight each other with the blades. And John Wick goes and stabs him, you know. And <clears throat> right, I think was right in the chest, stabs him with, with a blade. Um, and then John Wick, you know... By the end, he goes to uh, uh, on the hotel to see how Winston is, how's Winston doing, you know. And there's a parlay, and of course, he's been then, then double crossed by um, by by the educate. No, actually, by Winston, he's double crossed. But then the Bowery King finds him, you know. Uh, but yeah, my favorite scene will definitely be the scene um, with the motorcycle. And actually, I'll actually I'll scratch that. I'll actually say my favorite scene will actually would be the one with the horse. You know, when John Wick uses a horse and his legs as a weapon, who hits the guy in the face, and then John Wick is uh, actually on a horse. That will be my favorite scene. And my second favorite scene will be John Wick riding a, on a motorcycle. Um, but uh, yeah, this scene 
when John Wick rides motorcycle will be my favorite. Um, Asia K, Asia uh, K Dillon did a fantastic job as a bad guy. Uh, the Andrew Judicator, Martha Cascos was badass. And as we'll see, there will be John Wick, you know, on uh, the horse, you know, John Wick on the horse. I love how they actually filmed the horse. Um, now the, the cast, you know, uh, Mark DeCascos was a badass, a zero, love him this movie. Asia K. Dillon as, uh, as Andrew Decatur was awesome. Lance Reddick is back. And Jerome Flynn, he, he was the guy who played Bronn in the Game of Thrones. You know, he was, uh, he, he played Bronn in the Game of Thrones, which I watched it all the time. Um, Uh, yeah, this movie is different from the first two movies because the first two movies were more about revenge. This movie is about um, redemption. It's also about which um, John Wick will, can never be free. That's why he uh, he escaped the boat to the um, <clears throat> to Morocco, Casablanca, in order to find the elder, so the the, the so the, the 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 everything will be lifted off, you know, so that. Um, that the hit on him will be lived on. Um, um, yeah, and um, but yeah, I love the the I love that the, this movie has you know. Has better villains, um, better uh, be better armory. Be they have like armor Pearson, and I love when John Wick. You know he uses um, <clears throat> Benelli and two Super 90 12 gauge shotgun um, that he uses uh, the bullets which are armor Pearson, which he goes and kills the the mob of enforcers. You know just like he battled them in the uh, in the Matrix this time. He doesn't fight them off. Um, Um, yeah, this movie, um, Parabello means, uh, means if you want peace, prepare for war. So it's also right to pre the prepare for war, John Chapter 3. Parabello, um, they, they filmed in, um, they actually went in, they actually filmed the film, um, in the, uh, um, during the storm, during the rain, which was awesome, um, was at least. Was released on May uh, 17, uh, 2019. This movie made, you know, budget $75 million, costing $75 million. Uh, weekend, uh, weekend in the US and Canada was 60, uh, 60, $65 million, was opening weekend, and uh, uh, it was. Uh, 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 the gross was uh, um, <clears throat> um, 50, uh, 56 million dollars open US and Canada gross US and Canada 171 million dollars worldwide 337 million dollars worldwide uh, which is awesome um, which is awesome um, And when John Wick was fighting, he was in glass structure. Um, Keanu Reeves, you know, um, the fight choreographer was once again was uh, was once again Jonathan Eusebio. Um, Keanu Reeves trained. Um, Keanu Reeves trained for four months. Um, Um, Keanu Reeves trains for four months. Um, um, um,
um, five different dogs portrayed by Sofia dogs, um, Bergman, Malinois, and Helberry, she actually trained for a very long time, um, she trained for six months with dogs, she's an animal lover, she loves dogs, she has two herself, I have my dog who's sleeping there, um, so she was training for six months, it was actually really hard. Um, in the mirror, also, Marta Casco said it was a really technique, that's a tricky technique. Um, um, Jonathan Eusebio, you know, he was a fight choreographer. Um, Um, Keanu Reeves did 98% of his own stunts, 2% of his own stunts, and wouldn't want him, want him uh, left uh, 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 then. Um, Um, but the, but that's mostly is you know for the film. Um, that's mostly is for the film. Um, what can I say? You know, I'm actually kind of gonna finish now. But John Wick Chapter Three, Parabellum, Prepare for War, is one of the best action films ever. In the past twenty years, the best movie ever. Can is my favorite movie he did. Number one, number two will be Blade. Um, no, number two would actually be um, The Matrix that he did. The third one would be the first John Wick, but John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum is a badass. This movie is... I, I appreciate that this movie is different from the first movies. It's not about revenge. Um, John Wick doesn't have a revenge in this movie. He's a marksman. He was running through New York. And... Uh, he wants, you know... Um, and yeah, it was a different story. It wasn't because the first two movies were about revenge, because he was at the Russo, you know, son of Russian mobster killed John Wick's dog and still stole his car. And the second movie was in which Sarantino uh, went and burned his house, but he killed anyone. And John Wick goes on a revenge, you know, in the second movie. In this movie, this movie. Uh, Um, but yeah, I love the 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 the, the, the plot is simple and that you know what what is about you know. Um, but I'm actually gonna gonna finish you know right here because um, uh, was directed beautiful by um, uh, Ch Chad Sahelski. He directed the first movie and another guy helped him out the second movie. Um, It's just, uh, it's just awesome. I thought the educator, I thought that uh, that um, as a Katie Long, she did a great job. She she was awesome as the bad guy. Marta Cascos was amazing as always. So it's martial arts and kung fu that he used in this movie. Um, 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 but yeah, um, that's my review. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, Halle Berry broke five ribs while she was filming this movie. She broke five five ribs, which that that was awesome. But at the same time, was uh, what was accident never happens. Um.
But yeah, that's my review on John Wick Chapter 3. Parabello, I know I have saw, saw, said that three times. Um, I'm not sure. I'm still looking around if I forgot something to say about the film. Um, but that's cool that John Wick is on a horse on a, on a giant motorcycle, not only his car. And yeah, that, that was my review on John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, which came out 2019. I saw it two days later, this movie. Um, uh, and Pirate of Sun, they give, they give the five stars out of five, which I agree. It's, this movie is in my top 15 favorite action movies. Um, my God, not that. I don't know if anything is, but sorry, I'm actually sleepy, almost fall asleep during making this video. Um, I wanna say, I wanna say thank you so much for watching my video. Um, it's gonna be tied to John Wick Chapter Three Parabellum, the best one, um, the best, the best of the year 2019. But yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I'm out, and I'll see you next time for a new video, so bye-bye, peace.